Okay, we're back. Woo! I don't know where we are, but we're here. I, I'm, I, Andrew is pissed off at me because <laughs> it was your birthday and I didn't show up for your. Well, I, you were gone for your birthday, right? Yeah. But then I had issues and I missed the schedule and now we're not up in the radio station, but we're still at WFUT Studios. So we make it work here. Oh, this is I'm Ken Hill. This is Connecticut, Norwalk, Connecticut. And we're coming to you live from Connecticut. Yes, sir. The Kenny Hill Show. Mm -hmm. We missed, it's a special birthday celebration. Andrew, Ooh. Andrew, I didn't realize, I didn't realize actually, there's like all these different flavors of this stuff. Is that the stuff that I was supposed to get? Yes, sir, you got it. Death right Witch. The liquid Death, or I thought it was Death Witch. No, it's Liquid Like death. the movie? No. Oh, that's what I thought it was. And I kept looking for Death Witch and these people were like, so, I actually have a case of this stuff. What flavor is that one? This is Berry Alive. Bury It Alive. Bury It Alive. So it's like... You Rest know, in peace. Everything. You know what it reminds me of? Pretty cool, right? It's yeah. all flavored water. Yeah, do you, you know what it reminds me of? When Howard Stern was doing... When Snapple first became his sponsor for the radio... Uh-huh. Oh, wait, I gotta put my headphones on. It's all good. We're, um... When the... When they... Oh, that sounds a lot better. Oh, wow, I sound pretty good. Hey! <laughs> You're listening to the Kenny Hill Show. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for. Uh, he he sent me. We're actually in the. What is this? Like a basement? Or there's wood over here. No. This so this is the underground. This is this is a studio yeah. room where people do record vocals in. Okay. And these mics right here are Norman 87s. So you can look them up. And so they're actually better microphones than the ones. Extremely upstairs. better too. Oh. Okay. So I said, you know what? Maybe it's meant to happen. Maybe it's meant for us to have some better quality microphones for a change, yeah. rather but than like the radio mics. If we had um like uh, a band, we could have a whole band. In yeah, there. we could serenade. We can sing. If, if, yeah. I, my friend Alex, my friend Alex Cano, mm -hmm. he um he does music and everything, and um. I, if I bring him in here, we can he can set up like a little uh, acapella thing for him. Yeah, we just gotta schedule it. I could, in I could interview him and he can do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, he'll be I'll, down here. I'll let him know. I'll ask him. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're. All right. So, oh, I was saying, this reminds me. I got my coffee here. You don't mind. No, no, not at all. Not at all. You gave me drinks, so of course you can drink yourself. Don't worry. No, this reminds me, this liquid death stuff. And again, I thought it was Death Wish, like the movie. They have all different flavors. When Snapple first came out, you weren't even born yet. No. Howard Stern had just gotten them a sponsor on a show, mm -hmm. and they would have a different flavor every week. So he would be like, "Oh, the Snapple people are here. Send them in." And they would do this. <laughs> they would do this commercial where they would actually open up the Snapple, like it would be like like peach, like raspberry. Every every week it was a different. I, they must have had like forty flavors at one point. I don't know how many flavors they got now, but but Liquid Death has like Armless Palmer. Wow. The Grim, the Grim Leafer. Yes, the Grim Leafer. All right. And um, mango chainsaw. Nice. And you and this stuff is like regular seltzer. It's it's not even like it's yeah it's non alcoholic. That's my favorite part about it. Oh, okay. Non alcoholic, and my favorite out of the five you have so far is either bury it alive. This one. Yeah. Now, if someone wanted to or, drink this with alcohol, could they? Could they add alcohol to it? Or yeah, it... you can add alcohol too, but okay. I don't think it, I, I don't, it comes with it. I don't drink. Just just for the you know, I'm I'm too old. Andrew's uh <laughs> Andrew's uh, uh of age to drink, but yes. he just doesn't prefer don't to drink. To it, no. Wow. No. And that's nor that's not normal, so No, it's it's not normal at all. So anyone who is listening Like if we like if we went upstairs to Devin Oh, Devin would like crush a sambuca. No yeah, <laughs> well, he's never had sambuca. That's I got I got some for him for his birthday. Yeah, but I know. I oh, know I was gonna get I was it, gonna yeah. ask you about that. Is there any kind of like, you know, bring? I want to bring a, a present for Devin for a, a sambuca. I don't want to get in trouble with Amy or Ethan. Is that a, like, if I wrap it up, I'm not gonna pour it at the front desk or anything. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm like, if sure I put it in a box or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. just like just like hey, hey, Devin, like. I saw I missed your birthday or whatever. Or I saw okay. I missed your, your. I wanted to give this to you on your birthday. Same thing you're doing with me. You know, it's okay. a, as long as it's like a present and like we're again we're, we're 21. But it's not like you're giving it to us underage, so nice. it's not going to be an issue at all. All right. And I went to get a pizza, and there's no more Belden Avenue pizza. I told you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I told you that already. Yeah. Is your uh, so, your aunt Sophie okay and everybody? Yeah, they're doing good. Okay. They're actually picking it up. Um, 
They're, are um, they going to open up a new spot eventually? Or? No, they're done with pizza in general. Okay. So I think I, told, I, think I said this before, but I'll, I have no problem saying it again. Um, Margarita is, is a nurse now. Yeah. The younger girl. Okay. Sava, the guy that made the pizzas. Yeah, he, he was nice. Yeah, I yeah. Like him. He, he, Sava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, um, he's still in the process of looking for a new job, but he's actually uh, gotten a few spots, so he's good. Like, he's, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a lot better than, than, you know, when we last talked. Like, he's actually getting, like, you know, offers to, to go work at certain places. Okay. And then, um, Sophia, she's the older one. Sophia, the one you you talk to. Yeah, yeah. She's in a, she's in a good spot too. Okay, um, good. She's um, still like debating over like just retiring or uh, having a job, but she, they're all in a better mindset now than they once were before. That's that's the hey, most important thing. Hey, the reason I'm not upstairs in the radio station is because Matt Zako is doing his show. Correct. If anybody you know, Matt Zako has a podcast show. He's a uh, been a Fox News uh, Norwalk radio guy for the last 30 years. But I came up with a great idea. Yeah. Why don't we go up and crash his show? Will he, will he, be, uh, <laughs> will he be upset with that? I think you'd be extremely oh, upset with come that. Come on. Maybe. Matt Zako, we, we, Andrew won't let me crash your show. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> but be on the lookout because we, we, we. I mean. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> it would it, would it be really pr- would it be really funny? It would be great. It'd be great, and it like be... I don't like. Zayko also teaches here too. Okay, so but he's not teaching now, right? No, he's just doing his own show. Oh, okay. But he also teaches here, so it it be. Yeah, no, I know. He he's taught me a few. Classes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be. That's funny. That is funny. That's how you know him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no. I've actually known Zayko since. Years ago, I used to work at a club called Jimmy Seasides, and he used to come in and uh, scope out the, the local bands, because mm-hmm. he did a Monday through Thursday show at the Fox, I think it was Fox 95.9 or something. Okay. And he would have local bands, and he would do interviews, he would interview different bands, and he would scope out like local talent, he would go to clubs and see who was playing. I think we had Deep Banana Blackout, Tongue and Groove, and all kinds of different uh, groups. So that's cool. That's anyway, cool. Um, I'm gonna do something really cool. Just um, like always. No, <laughs> I that one thing I was trying to do. I'll tell you about it afterwards. Um, okay. But I'm gonna do a co-host competition, and I get so many people that come up to me. Oh wow, you got a podcast show? I want to come up. I want to come up. So I'm gonna take these people. Uh-huh. I thought I thought like I'll bring them in. Like if. I'll set up a time like, like a tryout, like, like a thing. Tuesday. Yeah. Let them try it out, and then their friends will show, you know, tune in, yeah, and subscribe or whatever. And I'll and every every couple of weeks I'll try a different person to see who's the best one, and I'll have like a competition, a co-host competition over a few months and see which one fits the best. So and, how many yeah. people? So let, let's let's actually like I like that. Let's let's actually plan it out and analyze it. If let's you if you know of any interns that want to like try, you know, just for the heck of it, like you were talking about Matt, but he's going to be doing engineering here, right? Um, unless he said that, I thought yeah. he'd be like more like Talent. radio, yeah, radio. Yeah, I thought he'd be like radio on air personality. Oh, okay. I feel like that's what he would want to do because like, yeah, yeah. To my knowledge, that guy wanted to like like interview bands and stuff like that. So okay. I feel like him being an on air co host for a show would be good as well. But how many people in the back of your mind? What do you think? Like three or four people are like want to. No, I want to try it over a few months. So maybe you know five or ten people at least. Five or ten. Yeah. Do you know? But do you know five or ten people? About? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I was sitting. <laughs> well, no, I know you know five or ten people, but five or ten no. people that want to do it. Uh, example. Example. I was at. Um. There's a guy that's. Uh, he's taking us. He's gonna become a certified trainer. Okay. And he's all, every time I walk in there, he's my local beer store guy. Mm-hmm. I get, like, Poland spring water. They sell seltzer. I, I don't think he sells liquid death, but... Ah, yeah, I put him on to that. Um, but his name's Jackson. Hey, Jackson, I'm gonna... T- you gotta tune in for this one, so... Um, mm-hmm. he, he's always giving me ideas for my show. He's like, oh, you know what you should do? You should call Walmart and pretend like you're supposed to work there that day and then call out and just ask for the manager and they just call out and just... <laughs> And, and just call different Walmarts and keep calling out and and then you don't really work there so you're, nobody's getting in trouble and then <laughs> you'll just you know get the reaction so that that would be a great phony phone call. Got so, you, got you. Anyway, all right. So that's only half your birthday present because I couldn't carry the whole case. 
So wow, so I didn't realize they had so many different flavors for this stuff. So this is a this is a part one. Yeah, this is a part two coming yeah. later. Yeah, I'll bring uh I'll bring Devin Sambuco in with. That. So is it so you have five and then there's another five coming? I don't know if they can see this on the camera, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I I, I was like amazed. I was like wow because I had called Devin, and he goes liquid death, and I was just happened to be at the uh, a Whole Foods up in uh, Mount Kisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, they have them. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that, and I was like, oh my God, there's like 15 different pen flipped It's good, right? Like, yeah, so I just want to hold that up for the camera. This one's liquid, this, what is this? Rest in peace. Mango Chainsaw and the Grim Reaper. Grim, Grim Leafer? They're all puns. That's what I love about them. What's all... Grim Leafer? What's a pun for Grim, Grim Leafer? The Grim Reaper. Oh, okay. So for the Grim Leafer, that's actually my favorite one because it's iced tea. Oh, okay. And it ha but it has a lot of like like vitamins in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like an Arnold Palmer type of thing. Yeah, anyway, it is. And this was the this was Andrew's birthday show for the Kenny Hill Show. Welcome. Woo! Happy birthday. Thank you, man. This is like right. honestly, a few, a few people got me some good you know non alcoholic drinks, but this is probably my favorite so you 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 all did a lot you did out you all did a lot of people that were trying to give me drinks and oh, okay. you killed it oh man you know what would be a great show hey wait let me turn this off for one second i'm going to come right back with the kenny hill show